Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today you join us in the Czech Republic because right now all of the rinks in the UK are closed, so we've had to come all the way here to make these videos possible. So thumbs up the video if you give us credit for doing that because this video is not sponsored or powered by anyone but ourselves. Today in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Bauer Supreme 2S Pro Stick against the newly released or newly about to be released, depending on when you're watching this video, ultrasonic stick. So as always, when manufacturers release new sticks, we wanna create these videos to show you if there is a difference in the way these sticks perform on the ice. Because some of the times when sticks come out, it can be very difficult to figure out where you should invest your money. In this generation's brand new stick release, or the previous generation, because once a new one gets released, the old ones get discounted and there is still nothing wrong with those sticks. They're still pro spec sticks. So which one of these two sticks is the better one? And most importantly, why? And hopefully we'll be able to help you to figure out if this is the new stick in terms of the ultrasonic that you should be picking up. Let's jump into it. And just before we jump into the video, hopefully you've thumbs up and also subscribed so you can stay up to date with our videos. And also all of the new Hockey Tutorial jersey designs, which are all custom with your country flag, your name and your number on them, are down below in the video description. This design I'm wearing is a one-off, but there's a bunch of new designs down below in the video description. Let's jump into the video. When I took the ultrasonic stick in my hand, I, I was wondering <laughs> what the hell it is. Because on the bottom is like a round seven corner or seven side piece that I didn't see before. But I guess that it's because of the flex, which I like when I was shooting and when I was controlling the puck. So it was, it was nice difference between sticks I ever had. So what's the actual difference between these two sticks? As always, I want to spare you all of the technology that's already featured on the 2S Pro that's been carried across. All of that can be found out on pretty much any website that sells these sticks. In terms of what's new, the first thing if we start off in the shaft is going to be Bauer's brand new Sonic Taper technology. Now, essentially, that's probably going to be the most eye-catching thing about the brand new ultrasonic stick, and that's that new geometry or the new shape of the stick shaft that features those seven corners. What they've been able to do here is essentially take away carbon material from the actual stick while still maintaining the stick's durability, but what they've done by doing that is lightening the stick up and also increasing its on-ice performance. So that's gonna be one of the biggest things that you notice when you look at this stick, and it's one of those features that is definitely noticeable when you step out onto the ice. From there, it's gonna be Bauer's new asymmetrical tech stream. Now, essentially, this is a different type of carbon fiber than they would traditionally use. Now, what it provides is much lighter weight, and aside from that, it also manages impacts a lot better than what we saw in the previous generation of Bauer sticks, in this case, the 2S Pro. And as a side note, the new ultrasonic stick is of course a monocoque construction, which is a, essentially what they refer to as a one-piece design, which increases the feel and general performance of the stick. Now, last but not least, in terms of the significant differences between the previous generation 2S Pro and the brand new ultrasonic, is gonna be the fast core blade. This is effectively a softer blade construction. Now, to save you all of the technical side of it, if you wanna know what it does, it stores or holds energy for as long as it possibly can before releasing it into the shot. This essentially will add a lot more pop and a lot more, I guess you could say, recoil or power into the shot that you're taking, which I guess is gonna be every player's desire when you get a brand new stick. One of the things that I know a lot of players look for, and it's this ever elusive term that's referred to as more pop. If you're wondering what that actually means is when you get a brand new stick, if you compare the exact amount of energy that you put into shooting with the previous stick, if you did the same on a brand new stick, in this case the ultrasonic, you would hope that with all the new technology that's packed into the stick, the shot comes off quicker with more power and hopefully more speed, using the exact same amount of energy that you would have previously used on the older stick and had not as great as an effect. Now this is definitely something that is noticeable and a lot of the players that have used this stick, even with us right now in the Czech Republic, can attest to that. So when we look at the 2S Pro versus the ultrasonic, what the ultrasonic offers with that new taper is that it's a stronger, lighter, and also more stable throughout every release or every different type of shot that you take on the ice. And in terms of the weight of this stick, depending on which size you go for, of course, this stick is 390 grams, which is roughly the same amount of weight as we saw in the Vapor Flylight. So Supreme sticks, in some cases, can tend to be a little bit heavier than Vapors, but it's pretty impressive to see what they've been able to do with this brand new stick because of that new technology, and especially Bauer's brand new Sonic Taper. 
So the features that we're seeing in the ultrasonic stick are derived directly from the ADV line of sticks that we saw from Bauer. So if you're looking at that taper thinking you've seen it from somewhere before, and maybe even those green accents that you can see in the stick's design, those are directly from the ADV line of sticks that we saw previously. So it's nice to see when Bauer creates these one-off designs or these one-off, I guess you could say crazy stick designs, that some of that technology does trickle down into what we get from a retail perspective that effectively, once released, everyone can get their hands on. Between 2S Pro and Ultrasonic, I would choose uh, Ultrasonic because I was feeling far better when I was stick handling, when I was shooting wrist shots, slap shots in backhand. 2S Pro was, let's say, bending all the way from top to bottom, which I didn't like. That Ultrasonic stick was bending just the top half. That flex was feeling much, much better when I was shooting the puck as hard as I could and uh, yeah I would choose this one. I was trying to shoot the puck hardest as I could with 2S Pro it it didn't come off the stick like how I imagined it didn't go the way I wanted and with ultrasonic stick I I tried as hard as I could again and that puck went really really fast and I basically felt that I didn't try as much, if I can say with that feeling, uh, it went much harder than with 2S Pro. So I would have chosen the hockey Bauer 2S Pro, and mainly because of the speed of the hockey in the shot, when it seems that the hockey 2S Pro is speed in the whole length of the hockey, where the hockey Ultrasonic se mi zdá, že hlavně průží až v té horní polovině hokejky. Takže při střelbě mi opět vyhovala víc hokejka 2S Pro. Zdá se mi, že mi to s ní líp lítá kam chci, takže se mi zdá, že ta střelba je přesnější a tvrdší. Při střelbě mi u hokejky Ultrasonic nevyhovalo to, že mi moc nesedí v ruce. Zdá se mi taková trošku mohutnější, trošku větší. Tak vybral jsem si hokejku Ultrasonic, myslím si, že je lepší v jejím držení, že má víc zakulacený tvar než hokejka 2S Pro, která má hranatý tvar a líp se mi s ní střílelo, protože líp pružila za mě. A tak myslím si, že hokejku Ultrasonic by si vybral například David Pastrňák nebo Nikita Kučerov, protože Hraju hodně s pukem a s touhle hokejkou by se jim líp hrálo, líp by se jim ovládal puk, takže proto. As always guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. A big thank you to the team and also Paddy for making this video possible here in the Czech Republic for allowing us to get access to the ice while the rinks in the UK are still closed. If you want any information about either of these sticks or you want links to know where you can pick them up, all of that will be down below in the video description. But make sure that you are liking this video, that you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. All of our social media links are down below in the video description and also the brand new hockey tutorial jerseys are also available down below in the video description. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe, thumbs up, and take it till next time.